Hey, God bless you, my friend. This is Sister Sharon. And today we want to discuss the great deception of praise and worship. Hear me very closely, friends. And first, I do apologize because my voice is a little hoarse. Uh, we had our fundraiser and our first women's empowerment gathering here in my city. And I just want to thank God for that. But um, my voice did get a little strained. So if I if I sound a little off, I am. <laughs> I just finished drinking some ginger and lemon. However, let's go into the word of the Lord. James chapter 4 is going to help us understand that praise and worship and thanksgiving to God can never, ever be replaced or sat as your primary expression when you are living in willful sin against God. If you feel afar off from God, if you don't feel that peace with God, if your spirit is convicted, you 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 feel doomed, you feel that he is condemning you. You are not in the way of truth because the truth is what makes us free. Jesus said that he was in Matthew chapter 16, verse 24, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Life meaning Zoe life. When you study Zoe, it takes us to Christ. Follow me close, my friend. If your life, your, your, your expression of your career, your day-to-day -day dealings with family, friends, your spouse, your coworkers, if that life is being manifest through bad thoughts in your soul life, your psyche life, the Greek word pasuke renders the word life. So if that part of your life is under the siege, under the dominion of the God of this world who is Satan, if you are walking in unforgiveness, if you are walking in a spirit of retaliation and bitterness, friend, you can lift your hands you can pick up your tambourine. You can run all around your church building. Matter of fact, you can run around your neighborhood. You can do all this outward, quote, praising. You can listen to music uh, and sing about God and Jesus all day, every day. But if you hide iniquity, if you attempt to keep praising and worshiping on top of your decision to hate other people, to slander other people, to, to go in and out of your heart thinking that you are better than other people. Friend, your praise and worship is in vain. And we need to know if we feel some kind of way, we, we, we just feel un raveled. We, we don't feel that we have no control over the soul, over the psyche, over our mind. We don't feel as many of us, we use this word, we don't feel the presence of the Lord. But yet you're listening to your praise and worship all day. Friends, listen to me. You have to repent. Repent means what it means. And it is rendered in the Greek to change your mind. But it denotes also a change of your purpose. If your purpose is still to live for you, it's still all about you, it's still what you want. You must understand, brothers and sisters, we are called to be selfless. We are called to be servants of the Most High God. So if we keep serving ourselves, we deceive ourselves because the harvest is plenty and the laborers are, free, are few. I heard a preacher say, and I said, wow, this is deep. He said, I know how to get God's attention. I know how to move the throne of God. I said, mm. 
And guess what he said? He said, I know how to get. Here, 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 here. This, this, this was, this was the, the, the red flag. I know how to get, get, get God to do. Friends, this is deception. He said, I know how to praise him. Come on and praise him. No, 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 no. That's called manipulation. You cannot get God to do anything that he ain't doing, that, that is not in his will to do, and he is not subject to you and I. We are to humble ourselves to God. And when you really are in the mind to praise him, it is not to get nothing from him. It's because of who he is. It is because of his mercy and his grace and his dominion and his power because he is God. Oh, hear me today, my friend. We praise God because he is God. He is the creator of the heavens and the earth. He is the one that laid down the plan of redemption so that we would not be judged and sent to hell. He is the one that sent his only begotten son that whosoever believe upon him shall be saved. You shall be reserved through the shed blood of Jesus. That's why we praise God. We don't praise God because we trying to get a bill paid. We don't praise God be, because we trying to get a husband. Friends, that is deception. We praise him because he's God. And James also tells us how if you're feeling afar off, if you're feeling some kind of way, it's because there's usually a sin of idolatry in our hearts. Idolatry is anything that you are setting on your mind, it's your mindset. You have set your mind on it and you want it. And that thing will drag your spirit away from God because God is saying, I want you to draw near to me. I want you to submit yourself to me. I want you to want me more than that thing. I want you to want me more than that husband. I want you to want me more than a new wife. I want you to want me more than a paycheck and a raise on the job. I want you to want me more than your ministry. I want you to want me more. Oh, come on this, this day. I can't say this morning because this, this is the day the Lord has made. If you up and you, you listen to the video, this is the day that the Lord has made. And we must choose to be glad in it because he's good. He's God. So friends, don't believe the hype. Listen to what James chapter four says, as I get ready to close this exhortation, how to draw near to God, not to get anything from him but to back the evil one up away from you, to, to, to position yourself to be in peace, at peace with self and with God. This is what James said. James chapter four, he said, beginning at verse seven, submit yourselves therefore to God, resist the devil and he will flee from you. Draw nigh to God and he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners and purify your hearts, you double-minded. Oh, 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 oh. All right, brothers and sisters, check what he is saying. Check this. When you check something, that means you literally put a check there because that needs to be paid attention to. James just told us how to get close to God. You don't do it through, quote, praise and a good gospel song. Mm -mm. You do it through cleansing your hands. And he goes on to say, purify your heart. What is your heart? It's your mind. Whatever you put your mind on, that is what you will reap. If you don't want to keep reaping, you got to stop sowing. You sow to the flesh, you die. The wages of sin is death. Your mind cannot handle the things of this world will sweep you away. So there, my friend, if you are feeling some kind of way with your walk with God, don't think a little gospel song go do it. You got to repent. You got to cleanse your hands and your heart. Your heart, it, 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 it is where your, your will, your, your, 
your decision making, your temperament, your mentality, your your desire is all hinged on what you're thinking. So if you think a gospel song going to do it, mm -mm 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 -mm. if you think clapping your hands and crying and getting emotional, that's that's emanating from the soulish realm. The soulish realm moves Zoe, Jesus, out the equation. And who gets up on the throne? We do. And if we get up on the throne and leave Jesus, leave Zoe life out of our life, we will perish in our mind and in our hearts. As I close, second close, but I'm closing. <laughs> As I end this exhortation, listen to what Jesus said. Jesus, Zoe life. He said, I've come that you have life and that more abundantly. John chapter 14, he said this. This is powerful because Jesus Christ, through the dispensation of the Holy Spirit, this is the Holy Spirit's dispensation. He is here in through us to glorify Jesus because without Jesus, there is no life. There is no redemption. There is no eternal life. This is what Jesus said. He said, whoever has my commandments... What are his commandments? To love God with your whole heart, mind, soul, and strength. Without loving him in your mind and keeping your mind set on him. He says, listen, whoever has my commandments to, to love God with your whole heart, mind, soul, and strength and keeps them is the one who loves me. The one who loves me will be loved by my father and I will love him and reveal myself to him. Oh, my friend, this is powerful. The revealing of Jesus Christ in your life. That's the abundant life. And you must keep his commandments to love God with your whole heart, mind, soul, and strength. And when we do this, this is where repentance is manifest in your lifestyle because my mind is made slave to Christ Jesus, the one who died for my fornication, my lying, my adultery, my pride, my idolatry, anything that you've been practicing that's ungodly. Jesus died for that thing, my friend. Receive his grace. Receive forgiveness and get your mind off that thing. Destroy it. Kill it and turn your mind back to God. I love you, my friends. Till next time, let us lift up our hearts and our hands with thanksgiving and praise, with clean hands and pure hearts, loving this great gospel. Till next time, God bless.